And very soon, Famiya will be joining us on the show for an exclusive, of course, as we journey to the VGMA night um, on the 6th of May. But even before that, let's talk about education. And when we talk about education, especially in Ghana, one thing that stands out is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And there's always been a need for us to improve upon uh, the learning resources just to ensure that as many children not only uh, develop their interest in it, but are able to create solutions for the many challenges that we face in this country. Just uh, not too long ago, we heard from the education minister saying that seven STEM schools are operational at the moment, dotted across the country. But are they enough for the number of children that we have, especially in the remote areas? That is why there's a group that has come together to ensure that in some of these remote areas, children are exposed at a very early age to STEM because they have the potential to create long-lasting solutions to the many problems that we face. And so this morning, we're going to be speaking to some children from Apesokubi in the OT region. And they are part of STEM Incorporated GH, Apesokubi chapter. And they have come up with some innovative solutions. I mean, irrigation is a major problem for most of our areas. How do we ensure that we provide water to these farming areas on a regular? And Apesokubi is a farming community. And so they always require enough water for their plants and their crops so we can also be fed on a daily. That's not all. When it comes to electricity, we all know that we have abundant supply of sunlight. We have not unfortunately capitalized on the solar system available to us to be able to provide electricity. So all these and many more are you know, solutions that they are coming up with to help make life easier, especially for those in those remote areas. And AJ is here. We'll be having that conversation. So you want to introduce them. So we showcase. Yes. We're really excited because um, the STEM Inc. Uh, Episcopi chapter have actually gone up and beyond it to create water dispensers for yeah. the kids that, um, instead of carrying buckets of water to try and get access to it, have actually created. And we have all these on display, but the students have joined us. Hello. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Gentlemen. My name is Billy Graham. Billy Graham and yourself? Okay. Huh? Dance. Dance. So Dance well and Billy Graham. Um, tell me the how how long it took you to first and foremost create the water dispenser. Let's start from the water dispensing system. How long did it take you to create it? So thank you for the question. And this dispenser took us less than three weeks to wow. build. Mm. Less than three weeks. Where's yes. this is a dispenser? Yes. Can please. you open it for us to see? what is inside okay, okay so what do we have here okay here we have the relay model mm. can we bring it out so it's stuck in there it's oh, okay stuck. we can just see it okay. from here okay the relay model the ir sensor mm. and the water pump is inside here okay so all you need is to just put the battery, put the battery inside uh -huh. and now it's turned on uh-huh and you place your cup oh get up you here. can get up and do it so that we really understand so you, maybe you can put your cup at the front there. Okay. So you have your cup and then... What do you... Is there something to press? No. You don't press? Oh. The water just flows once yes. you... Okay. Is it coming? It's not turned on here. Ah, uh, it's okay. Has it come on now? Yes. So the water is flowing? No. Okay. M maybe you should try and find a solution to it while we... We figure it out. Yeah. But then do tell us about some of the other innovations that you've created as well. Okay. We built some projects like the obstacle avoidance robots. Okay. So this is it. So that's the uh, obstacle avoidance robot. Yes. So, what does that mean? So this robot is made in a way that when it meets an obstacle, it beeps an alarm and it stops. Huh. This is what we are seeing in front of us? No, no the, 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 the... Oh, oh okay, the yeah, because I was, I was confused. So how, if it meets an obstacle, it will stop. So yes. let's say that there's going to be an impact. Yes. There's a wall ahead. Yes. As it's moving and it spots the wall, it will it beep and then it, it will stop. stop. Yes. Wow. Can you show us how it works? So maybe we should put something on the... No, I can use my leg. Okay. okay. You use your leg, okay. All right. And how long did it take you to create it? Okay, come this way so we can see your your, your face uh -huh, on yes. TV. How long did it take you to do this one? This one week. One week. One week. You created it by yourself? Our team. Oh, all of you. How many are you on the team? 
We have five. Oh, you have five children yes, on please. the team, plus wow. your, your, your teachers. teachers. Mm -hmm. How many teachers do you have, Dancer? Well? Um, please, you have two teachers. So two teachers, teachers and five children. Please. All these five children are from Apeso Kubi. Please, yes. Ah. Okay, you're, I think because your leg is there, oh? Yeah. yeah. It's here. Okay. Well, he's putting together. So, that, that's why, how did you hear about um, this group and why did you join? I'm a lady from a village called Apiso. I'm a girl from a village called Apiso Kubi. Oh. Okay. And I want to become an engineer in future. Ah. But I don't know how to get solutions to it. So, when I see, I saw STEM, mm -hmm. how they are doing their things, giving solutions to problems in rural communities, I decided to join them. Yeah, but you want to be an engineer. Yeah. And in school, they weren't teaching you some of these things so you can become? All they teach us is the circuit system. Only mm -hmm. the things we can see is the battery, mm -hmm. the connecting wires and the relay models. Mm -hmm. We don't bring it into real life solution. Mm -hmm. So when I saw STEM doing it, I So get you saw them doing it first and you yeah. told them that you want to join? Join them. And your parents were okay with it? Yes. So how long have you been part of the, the team? Oh, it's about one month now. One month? Wow. Yeah. And what have you also created? I, I see the obstacle. What do you call it again? Obstacle, obstacle avoidance. 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 OK. Well, I, I think you saw it when it was moving. Yeah. He put his leg so in front of it. Once it moves and you block it, it yeah. stops. Yeah. So this is something that can be implemented in, in, in maybe cars and mm -hmm. trucks and, mm -hmm. and things around bicycles, things around the, 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 the town where people use it and it creates a bit more um, safety yes. features for some I of the things see. that you do. Amazing. You should build cars for us then. You should start building cars. Is that your plan? Is that the plan? Yes, you please. want to become what? A yes. car manufacturer? Yes, please. Oh, wow. And you also make water dispensers as well. Yes, so please. when did you also find out about the group and when did you join? Two years now. Mm -hmm. It's been two years. Yes, Before please. that, what did you want to become in future? I wanted to become an engineer. Mm -hmm. okay. And I didn't have any idea about it. So I started gradually and I found out that there was an institution that was helping kids to build projects and solve problems. You found out from who? Our teacher. Ah. Wow. So then your teacher introduced you. Yes, please. But you said before you found out you were doing something about your interest in engineering. What were you doing exactly? Building cars and robots and stuff. Even before you joined the group? Yes, please. So did you build that before? No. Or this was when you joined? Yes, please. I see. That's interesting. Really? Now, what is this as well? Because I see water flowing. This is a water pump. Ah, so to help the farmers. Yes, please. And then cause, cause of the lack of rainfall sometimes, or the erratic rainfall yes. patterns. But it's not connected to And we to have the larger one. Hold on, hold on. This water pump is not connected to any electricity. Yes, please. So how is it working? It's working from a rechargeable battery, okay. 12 volts, okay. to mm. pump the water. Okay. I see. So it's made for farmers who depend solely on rainfed agriculture. Mm. Is this solar powered? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, interesting. This is really amazing. How, how long did it take you to create this? Less than three days. Less than three days. You're smart. Wow. That's what. What do you have in front of you as well? I have solar lighting system. Okay. Tell us about it. Solar lighting system. In my village, we don't have light to steady in the night. Mm. So when I joined STEM and I saw them doing all these things, so we built this for my village. In the night, we have light to learn. We even implement some at other metal. Wow. And now they are using it in their clinics. Wow. What? Odometo. 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 Yeah. It's a health facility. Yes. yes and you created this for to provide... Them. Yes. Like lights for them. And they are using it to charge their phones. Power it for wow. us. And what and what do you need to be able to create this lighting system? Oh, all you just need is the, your, your bottles, uh -huh. then the lights inside. Okay. And that's bamboo? Yes. yes. Okay. That's where the batteries are coming in. Oh, the batteries are inside. Yes, oh, wow. All right, well, while they're trying to power it, if you just tuned in, these are kids from Apesokubi. And they are part of a STEM group. Uh, they are Apesokubi. Oh, oh, the oh lights my. are on. This is bright. This is actually really amazing. Unbelievable. And then this is now being used in the health facilities yes. in, in and around Apesokubi. Yes, yes, please. Amazing. Wow. So what are some of the components you need to create this? 
laptop that are not in use, they have thrown it away. Mm. We oh. took it, then we used the, their batteries oh. for oh. it. So you recycled old laptops? Yes. And then, um, so this, this actually helps the environment. Instead of throwing out these oh. things yeah. that you would ordinarily consider you don't need again, you it actually does. can yes. use it to create lighting system for for le for interesting um projects such as this yes please. so old laptop batteries and yes. what else then battles what's that they have thrown it away which mm. is not in use again we will need that one too Amazing. how do you power the batteries mm. so because you know if you have a regular laptop you always yes. have to connect it to electricity mm -hmm. to keep it charged yes. but in this case there's no electricity in your village so how do you keep the battery on solar we use solar ah. So we use to. bamboo, long bamboo stick. Then we will connect it on and then we will do it. Then we have the light. So mm. that's why you brought this bamboo stick. So that yes. we did not bring the... Oh, the but you way. have the bamboo stick yes. here. So I think that's what shows. Oh, but this is innovative. Absolutely. There's also a pipe. You said there was a bigger version of the oh, irrigation system. Is that ah, what we see there? Yes. yes. Okay. Can we see? Okay. Is it possible we can see how it works? No, because you have not uh, connected it. Yeah, so this is a smaller version, and then yes. we actually do the proper big pumps yes. to be able to do that. Uh, is it affordable for for um, the farmers to be able to maybe? Yes, please. Okay. So you're looking to pro produce a lot more of these, so that farmers across the country yeah. bigger ones, more okay. than this, mm. more than this. Yes, How do you feel being able to create and produce all these items? I feel that I can become my dreams of becoming an engineer can be made possible mm. with this kit. It can be made possible. How are the kids in the community feeling now that they've seen that you're able to create, you know, all these miniature cars things, yeah. and stuff? Everyone wants to join. Oh, mm. now they all want to join? Yes, please. I see. Well, we hope that a lot more kids also join. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot, a lot of you are watching and you're thinking, hmm, this is interesting. I'd also want to join. But so what about you? How do you feel? I feel good because all my colleagues do want to join me. So I'm happy with it. I love that. STEM is not difficult, so I'll encourage my friends to join me so that we all build projects together. But you know, they, a lot of people think that STEM is only for boys. Mm -hmm. and that yeah, girls and they also think it's difficult. Mm -hmm. yes. But STEM is not difficult as they think. It's mm -hmm. not? Yeah. You are sure? Yeah. How so, are you able to get it or understand it so quickly? Or what, what makes it so easy? STEM, what if you just come into the club, the way they do their things, if you are seeing it, uh, it's not difficult. Mm. Yeah. So they teach you very well. Yeah, they I, teach I still want to see. Well. Oh, carry on. I still want to see how this water dispenser works. So maybe you can try and fix it while you are here. I mean, it's not just about creating and bringing it for us to see. When there's a problem, you can call on them to also come and fix it. Mm -hmm. So I want him to be able to do that. We must make sure that it works. Hopefully, it does actually work. So you say you have three teachers. Yeah. With two. Oh, two teachers, yeah. and five of you are in the group. Yeah. That's exciting. That's very, very exciting. Now, yeah. um, in terms of... Because I'm, I'm sure it's not as easy getting the equipment and recycling and getting all the laptop batteries and everything you need. So how are you able to get the materials you need to work? Some of the laptops... Maybe someone is using it, but night is not in use again. Mm, Maybe the person mm. have thrown it away. We go for it. Mm. Yeah, then we take the battery out, then we use it for it. Okay. But you've also won quite a lot of champ uh, awards, um, championship awards and all of that. Tell me about that. Okay. It was this same project that mm. we sent and get the champion mm, award. Mm, yeah. Mm. It was this same obstacle I avoid and show, but the smart water dispenser mm. and the solar lighting system. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Now, Billy, what's been the best part about being a part of the the STEM I I, I Inc and the Apple Scooby Club in, 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 in general? Is the question again? What has been the best part about being a part of this? The best for you? part of this is They've taken me higher mm. than I can expect. Mm. Mm. And with this, we've won, we've won plenty projects yeah. and competitions. I love that. So one day you say you want to start manufacturing cars. Yes, please. And you want to start manufacturing what exactly? <laughs> lighting system. Light. You want to create a lighting system. For your communities. Definitely. The, the blue bowl, is it a blue bowl or a transparent yeah. bowl? What's inside? 
if all these three beauties from this smart case that we use to Can you open it so we see what's inside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we wouldn't know what they're called, so maybe you have to pick them out and yeah. call them one by one. Show it to the camera and tell okay, us. Okay, so this is a breadboard. Breadboard? Yes. What does it do? It's used to connect the. You, maybe you want to build the traffic lights, mm. and this is the traffic lights here. Okay. Mm. So when you connect it here, uh -huh. you, you have to connect your wires from the Arduino board okay. to the breadboard. Uh -huh. Then now you, you declare the variables for it. And now you load it and to start working. Just like that. Yes, and it's please. not just traffic lights. I mean, whatever it is you want to create, yes. you can be able to do that. And we have the ultrasonic sensor mm. for detecting presence of objects. Mm. That's on the car. Oh, okay. What else do we have in there? The mic sensor. Mic mm. sensor? Yes, please. What does that do? To detect sound waves. Right. And these are the wires that you connect? Yes. Jumper cables. These are yeah. jumper cables? Yes, please. So where's the plus and where's the minus? These are female to female. And we have the male to male. Oh, what shows, okay. what shows that they are female to female? Because here you can put the male inside. Mm. Ah. You can put it inside okay. like this. Okay. I think some of us need so to go this back is to <laughs> this. <laughs> one is the male. I tell you. This one is the male to male. Mm. Oh, okay. So once you can slot it in, yes. it's male. Yes. But when there's a hole in there, then it's female. Mm -hmm. So then you connect it. Oh, yeah. sorry about that. You connect it. I see. At least I've learned something. I hope I don't yes. forget it five years down the line. <laughs> but these kids are doing incredible, I must say. Absolutely. And these are children from a Peso Kubi. There are different chapters all across the country. How many chapters do we have so far uh, for the Science Incorporated? About 10 mm. in different communities. And so... Look out for them, and if you want your child to join, please get in touch with them as well. How can we get in touch with the um, the team? Do you have details? You don't have details. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Go but I'm sure media. that we can go on social media yes. Yes. Um, and get all those details. So STEM GH on social media, and then okay. get all the details. And please, corporate Ghana um, individuals, those that can, please support the project because it's absolutely imperative that we push STEM a lot more because they are creating Ghanaian solutions for Ghanaian problems. And that's how we can be able to, to, to get ourselves mm -hmm. um, more innovative in, in the country. So creating long-lasting solutions by Ghanaians for Ghanaians. So please support, go on social media, STEM GH, find out how you can be a part of it. And of course, donate how you can, contribute how you can, give your time or your effort, and then let's ensure that STEM grows in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. Famia is joining us up next, so, so don't go anywhere. Thank you kids so much for coming. I Thank hope to you. see you come yes, more often more. so that you can create new things and teach us. Thank yeah? you. Yeah? All the best. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll see you shortly with Famia.